So I decided that uh, I'd like to come back to the Victoria Road power station in Kirkcaldy. Uh, and the main reason being because my last video on it wasn't too good and I've got a proper light with me so we're going to explore it again. I wanted to get some HDR pictures of inside as well before they brick the front up and it becomes inaccessible. So this used to have um, a total of five steam engines inside it. Three of them were 250 horsepower, two of them were uh, 80 horsepower. So the total output of this power station was not even a megawatt. Uh, which, was, which kind of surprised me and it was used to power street lighting, trams and then eventually uh, it just supplied the electricity to houses uh, I reckon the tramway ran up the back of the area uh, here so I'm hoping to explore some of the basement rooms there's uh, some rooms underneath that I wasn't exploring because it was just too dark and I wouldn't have been able to see what I was doing so we're going to go inside now so again, this is one of the main engine halls and I'm hoping to go down through that area and underneath the floor so there should maybe be something interesting underneath there You can also get down underneath the floor this way uh, and I, I, I don't think I will because it's just full of pallets I might, I might not be too easy to uh, get across that so uh, that's where we've just come from. What I'm going to do is try and get down get down here. I should be able to get back up again. And uh, underneath there, there is a passageway that goes all the way underneath. So I should be able to get down there and have a look. So I'm going to go down there just now. There we go, that should hopefully be a little bit better. So. All we've got underneath here is uh, it's sort of like these ceramic insulators on bars uh, which cables would have run along um, at one time so we'll just continue along further underneath uh, there's a few thick cables coming in oh and there's an enormous cable uh, back there see just coming out the wall so Maybe that's one of the places where the power out was actually taken from the building. Where that was one place that the power would have been generated from. Uh, so I'm just continuing under a bit more. And it just sort of stops as uh, I can hear my friend above me. So what's down here? Just some sort of a small pit full of water. Uh, nothing interesting really. So that's pretty much all we've got in this underground area. So this is uh, where I've come from and Next we come through to the very large open area uh, and this is a quite a nice area through here uh, There's a small room again off the here um, and honestly it's got nothing in it not even worth bringing the light out for This would have been another one of the generating rooms Inside all, all all oh, those little rooms there, it's just like, uh, there's just rubbish in there basically, uh, nothing interesting at all. So, in this area, you encounter a load of these, uh, these are uh, blocks with resistor wire wound around them. And these are called resistor grids, and these were to do with spikes and troughs and demand basically to do with the trams breaking so if the trams i think when the trams braked they would regenerate some energy and sometimes it would come back down the grid and the power station would absorb it if there's too much and say there's maybe times when if demand for electricity really quickly reduces 
they'd have to, because the steam engines can't slow down fast enough, they'd have to dissipate some of the excess power into these resistor blocks. But uh, I've no idea where these resistor blocks would have originally been uh, installed. Uh, it's kind of sad that they're all just smashed around here. In this room here, we're in here last time and there's a big safe. Uh, and it's got all these sort of funny, scary looking menacing, I don't know what they are, hanging from the ceiling. And yeah, there's the old safe. Uh, there's roots on the wall there. So we'll come out there and then we go up these stairs carefully. Before that, in fact, coming through here, see what there is in here. Yeah, just go back through where we came from. So now we're upstairs and the floor in here is quite dangerous so I've really got to watch my step. Uh, there's some old lead pipes over there. They look like lead pipes anyway, judging by the type of joint they've got. Some convenient safety warnings there. That's just the main road outside. This room looks looks quite nice. Well, it's got that um, sort of root growing all over the wall there. So we've just come from the stairs there and we're coming all the way through this area. We're going to go along to the right there. Yeah. I'm doing sort of HDR pictures, uh, getting pictures of just like light shining through the holes and all sorts of different things. So I'm just heading further along uh, here. Uh, and there's just basically some, just some rooms along here. Uh, there's nothing in them, there's nothing to see at all. Uh, coming further along here, there's a room that looks kind of almost like a classroom actually, with paint really flaking off the walls there. And uh, we're just heading through there. And after we've just uh, been from those corridors there, we we'll come up to this area where the huge cranes still remain. So I'm just figuring out how we get down there. So I'm not sure what these cranes would have been used for, maybe loading coal, uh, I'd imagine. And I'll just get down here just now. And I see someone's been going to town with a VHS tape around here uh, because the stuff is everywhere. When you come around, there's all this graffiti. Yeah. So here's another little room here, which just basically seems to be housing some old telephone communication stuff. Nothing uh, too interesting. Not so sure what this could have been used for. Maybe. It could have been maybe used for the, uh, so the people can in, in the building can maybe communicate with each other, stuff regarding power demand or whatever. But uh, I can't really be totally sure. Well, so I think that's the last time we will ever be back here, um, because it's going to get all bricked up soon, and then eventually it's likely to be demolished completely because 
the cost to repair all this building again is probably a lot more than it would be just to build a new one. Uh, it's a shame really because I don't know, it could have been maybe turned into a, a shop or a nightclub. 